It was an unexpected resignation that has raised a lot of eyebrows, and it's prompted questions about what caused Police Chief Peter Abbott to throw in the towel after eight years at the helm of the Sarasota Police Department. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick sat down today with the chief for a candid interview about exactly what happened. Mia. Peter Abbott was very well known in this community. He's been here eight years. He received a lot of support from neighborhood leaders and community activists. So we asked him to open up about his decision. Peter Abbott's office is now stripped to the basics. 30 years of law enforcement memorabilia is being packed away to make way for someone new. The question is why? You have to be in a situation where you have a working relationship with everybody that is going to be positive. Tuesday morning, Abbott met with city leaders to discuss police management issues. In December, city manager Robert Bartolotta gave him six months to come up with a plan to engage the community. Uh, I had the draft in my hand at our meeting the other day, but uh, uh, we went on to other things. Were you forced in any way to do what you did yesterday? Well, I think the situation dictated that a uh, change had to, be, had to be made, and obviously I was the change. Abbott was suspended last year for asking an officer to be an interpreter in a city risk management meeting. He realized the mistake, then apologized publicly. He came to Sarasota in 2002 after 22 years in the New York City Police Department. 9-11 is his most memorable day on the force. The tough streets of New York helped Abbott see issues that threatened our city, issues others tried to keep quiet. When I got here, uh, nobody really wanted to say there were gangs in Sarasota, but there are. And we have a gang investigator who's getting uh, a lot of results. Some of his proudest moments came when his narcotics unit busted the leader of an SRQ drug cartel and when a detective was dedicated solely to domestic violence investigations. Coming from years on patrol, Abbott admits it was a little lonely at the top, and what he'll miss most is the camaraderie he shared with his officers. They have a great sense of humor. They, they uh, kind of uh, rib each other and, and to build the camaraderie. And uh, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun to be around them all the time. And uh, that's the, the best highlight for me is, is just being around the offices. The city is starting a national recruiting process and is expected to have a new chief in place by December 1st. Lauren? Mia, as you mentioned, he, he did get a lot of support from the community, and this came as a surprise to a lot of people. Did he talk at all about sort of what the reaction has been and whether people have uh, reached out to him, what they're saying to him about all of this? He did say that his phone has been ringing nonstop for the past two days. There are a lot of people that are asking him why he made this decision, but uh, he feels that it's the right decision right now for him, and he's moving on, moving forward. All right, Mia McCormick reporting. Thanks, Mia.